Hi, I'm Nicole, co-founder of Prima Alpacas and Starflower Eco Farm. We are a large off-grid alpaca farm in Northern Arizona. My husband Dave and I raise a herd of over 60 alpacas in the middle of nowhere and we hand process all of the fiber ourselves. I'm a felt artist and a hand spinner and in today's video I'm going to show you how to spin alpaca fiber into yarn. This is alpaca fiber grown on our farm by the animals that we love. The first thing I do is I grab my fiber and I start to separate it just by picking it apart. Pulling it, separating the locks so that it's ready to be carded. As a farmer who farms fiber, who's also an artist, I like to make as much as I can out of the fiber, like the shirt I'm wearing, the hat I'm wearing, everything on the wall is all handmade from alpaca fiber grown on our farm. And this fiber has already been washed. I wash all the fiber sustainably out in the garden. I will link a video below to show you how I do that but I am certified in permaculture design. And one of the principles in permaculture design is that wastes are resources. So any fiber that's not ideal for art is used as mulch out in the garden. So it's repurposed as a resource. And then the water, the wastewater that is produced from washing the fiber is repurposed out in the garden as well as gray water. So we water the peach tree and the other items growing in our garden with wastewater instead of just letting it go to waste. All of the art that I make is really a journey because it begins with the daily care of the animals. We care for the animals, we pick up their poop, we do herd health every month, and the same hands that are making the art, these hands are also delivering the babies because we're large breeders. We breed and have babies twice a year, every spring and fall. I will also link a video showing you our new babies that we already had this fall because we just had three babies born on our farm and we're expecting two more. I have a good amount of fiber here that's ready for carding. Okay, I've got my white fiber here and my drum carter. <clears throat> I take a small piece of white fiber and I start to feed it through while spinning the drum carter at the same time. I try to evenly distribute the fiber across the entire drum. After I've got some fiber on the drum carter, I'll use this little brush tool to kind of slick it as I spin the carter. So what carding fiber does is it gets all of the fibers laid out in one direction as if you just brushed out your hair, it's the same. You want all of the fibers to be laid out nicely in one direction for spinning. It makes it a lot easier, although you can spin raw fiber.
Okay, the fiber is ready to be removed from the harder. So I grab my tool and slide it right into this groove here and pop the fiber out. And then I continue to slide the tool all the way across the length of the carter to nicely pull out the fiber without leaving any fibers behind. And now I have a beautiful carded bat of alpaca fiber. Time to spin it into yarn. So I'm out in our juvenile pen with our juvenile alpacas. I've got my spinning wheel and I've got my fat bat of alpaca fiber. And I will rip a small section off to begin with. I'll attach the fiber to the leader. The leader is the piece of yarn that you feed through the spinning wheel. And I'll give the wheel a gentle spin clockwise. Adjusting the tension as needed. And there it goes. There's only two motions in spinning, drafting and twisting. Drafting is what my left hand is doing by pulling the fiber forward, and then the spinning wheel is actually spinning it, twisting it into yarn. I'm an intuitive spinner, not a technical spinner. I like the yarn to teach me or the fiber to teach me rather. And I don't like my yarn to look like it came out of a machine. I prefer it to look handmade. So it will always be a little bit chunky, a little bit primitive looking compared to any type of yarn that comes out of a machine that maybe you buy at, you know, an, a fabric or art store. We'll go ahead and move this to a different location on the bobbin.
here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so now I have my skein maker attached to uh, the spinning wheel and I'm going to go ahead and remove the yarn from the bobbin so I have it in a skein. Just gonna tie it on right here. There it goes. To take it off of the skein, I'm going to tie a couple of other pieces of yarn around it to keep it together and to keep it from getting all knotted up. The last thing you want is for your yarn to get knotted up when you spent so much time making it. Hi, buddy. Diana. One more. So you can see. It's nicely tied off on the skein maker. And now I'm just going to remove it. And there's a beautiful hand spun skein of yarn. So soft. There's a couple of different ways to finish the yarn. Normally I like to soak it and that'll reduce the twist. You can also uh, thwack it by whacking it over and over again on a table and that'll make the twist blossom, making a really beautiful art yarn. But that's basically it, how to spin alpaca yarn. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe.